I recently did a video on soccer passing drills and in that video there are a bunch of drills but they were all drills that you did with partners and some of them were in twos, some of them were in threes but I had a lot of people ask me how do I do soccer passing drills or how do I improve my passing skills if I don't have anyone to practice with. So today I'm going to show you exactly how you can improve your passing but also your first touch, also your speed of play. So very important pieces of your game that I think are overlooked way too often okay today you're going to learn how to improve all those areas so stay all the way to the end of this video because although i'm showing you drills there are other things i want you to focus on so you can actually apply the practice that you're putting in onto the field to make you a better player let's get into it all right so before we get into the actual drills that i want you to practice to improve your passing skills i want to talk about a couple very important things so first of all is quality of your passes and um, what I mean by that is it's, it's easier to see when you're passing with a teammate, but by yourself even, if I wanna pick a spot, so maybe I pick a line on the wall and I try to hit that line or like a little dent in the wall or a little spot on the wall and I try to hit it every time, okay? A lot of us, we're too comfortable with making passes that are okay, but they're not good enough. The higher level you get at, the more important and more precise your passes need to be, okay? So you need to put pace on your passes. Okay, it has to have pace to it. It can't be soft if it's bobbing like that and weak, it's gonna get cut out, it's gonna get intercepted, okay? So you need pace on your passes, but you also need accuracy on your passes, very important. So for example, if I was like passing with my teammate, instead of just passing it to him, I wanna pass it either to his right foot, to his left foot, I wanna pass it into this space right in front of him to encourage him to go that way, or I wanna pass it to this space behind him because the defender is on that side. Okay, so think about having a little more quality and precision with your passing. Don't just pass it over there. Don't just hit it at the wall, okay? Think about the exact spot on the wall that you wanna hit it and put it there. Okay, the other thing, that I want to talk about when you're passing with yourself, practicing by yourself, is your first touch, okay? Yes, we're focusing on practice, on uh, passing, but it's a great opportunity to focus on improving your first touch. So when I receive the ball, I'm not just, again, I'm not just taking these touches and not really thinking about it. You want to think about getting the ball out of your feet quickly so you can play again quickly, okay? So I might really overemphasize my touch out of my feet. Good, out of my feet and I can play a nice pass. Out of my feet, play a nice pass. If I'm going into space, out of my feet. Okay, but look at my body positioning. I'm not just like up here and letting the ball hit my foot. I get over the ball. I'm pushing it there with my touch, but also my body is over the ball, okay? I'm really making sure it goes exactly where I want it to go. Okay, so I want you to think about those two things. Then finally, I want you to think about your speed of play, okay? There's no one around here, there's no defenders, but you need to imagine that there are. Okay, so when we're playing, if we're just doing a simple two-touch drill, it's receive pass. Receive pass, okay? My passes are sharp, my touches are sharp, but it's not like... Okay, too casual. Play like you're in the heat of the game. Yes, everything you do is sharp, it's quick. Receive pass, receive pass, receive pass. Okay, so quick on your feet, speed of play, okay? So we're gonna go into a couple drills here, and as you can see, I'm passing against a wall by myself. No one else is here, okay? A ball on a wall. It's one of the best ways to improve your skills. That thing is gonna pass back to you every time, okay? This is your best friend. It's gonna give you millions of passes in your lifetime if you use it properly. All right, let's get into these drills.
there are a handful of passing drills that you can use by yourself to improve your skills. Now, before I leave you, I wanna say a very important thing, and that is there's so many of you out there, and maybe I'm not talking specifically to you, but if I am, you need to be very honest with yourself. You guys are watching these videos, but you're not actually applying what we're talking about. You're not actually putting in the practice and you're sending me messages or you're complaining to your friends and your family and you're saying, I'm putting in all this work or I'm following all this advice, but I'm not getting any better. Well, the truth is there are millions of other kids or other players out there in the world who are following this advice, who are putting in the practice and are getting better. So if you're not getting better, well, maybe you're not actually doing what you should be doing, okay? Make sure that you're actually, if you wanna improve your passing, you wanna improve your first touch, you wanna improve your speed of play, make sure that you're actually practicing these things, okay? Get your ball, leave your house, go for a jog. Jog with your ball, please don't get hit by a car, look both ways when you cross the street. But that's what I used to do, I used to just get my ball, go for a run, okay? jog, dribble the whole way to the field or to the wall, wherever you're going. And then you get here, you spend, even if you spent 10 minutes, go a massive way in improving your passing skills, your first touch, your speed of play, your confidence on the ball. If you wanna stay out longer, you can practice other things too as well. You're dribbling, you're shooting, all this other stuff on my channel, all these other um, drills that I'm giving you guys, okay? But if you're really focused on becoming a better passer, a better playmaker, someone who doesn't lose possession of the ball, has a better first touch, has a better speed of play, rhythm of play, more confidence on the ball, then get out there, do these drills 10 minutes a day, spend one minute on each drill, but get those thousands of passes in every day. It will go a long way in making you a better player. All right guys, thank you so much again for watching this video. Please like, comment, share this video with your friends, share it on social media, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. If you have teammates or friends and you know they wanna get better, share these videos with them. Please like, give me a quick thumbs up, comment below if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any other uh, tips you want to share with players who are also trying to improve, please comment below. And thank you once again for watching this video on soccer passing drills. I will talk to you tomorrow.